And we are back with some more scaleless snail. Look, he's so confused. And the dog as well. We can't do shit. I wonder what the AI th is thinking right now. But what we can do is uh, cast magic. So let's use the hardball for the first time. And we... Oh, wow. That really did damage to him. Even though it's only level 1. It's like stronger than the flash. <laughs> the flash only did uh, 10 damage on a maggot. And I think um, the skeleton snails... Oh wait, the skeleton snails have um, physical defense, but no magic defense. So that's why it does so much damage. Oh nice. Um, and just like the weapon skill, alchemy also levels up like that. So you see, when it goes to 100, you get to the next level. And for every level, you need more experience. Or well, not really, you still only need to go to 100, but you get less. For example, using the hardball just once now, when it's level 0, you get 10 points of 100. And when you are at level 1, you only get 5 points, as you see. And um, finally, you only get 1, or maybe 1 per 2 casts, or something like that. So you need to cast it 200 times to get a level. But the level differences are very huge, and that's why they scaled it like that. So the difference between 0 and 1 isn't very much. But the difference between 4 and 5 is much bigger than between 0 and 1. So that's how it works. Well, you look like you've been through a lot. There's a lot of, big, a lot of bugs and baddies out there. They are probably giving you a hard time. You're telling me... Here's something that uh, should help you out in the sand, tar, and lava. Lava? It's the formula of acid rain. Just mix three parts of water and one part ash, and you have a potent concoction. It showers enemies with acid. It's the same spell that the boss used, and you know how it looks and how it is. But the thing is, it sucks. And I will tell you why. It's because it uses free water, and you can only hold up to 99 of an ingredient. So the maximum number that you can cast a spell without buying more ingredients, or finding it, is 33. You can only cast 33 times. But with the hardball, if you have 99 of both crystal and clay, you can cast that 99 times. So I really dislike spells like these that cost 3 of an ingredient. Even though water is very cheap, you know, just casting it 10 times costs 30 water. And um, fuck no, but I'm still going to have it right now because there's like, it doesn't take up any space. You see, water is very cheap. But it's still like 17 talents per cast. Because, you know, you need three water. So, no thanks. And water is used for one of the best spells in the game coming up pretty soonly. So I want to keep the water for that spell. But we can now get more hardball. So we're gonna buy some clay. Have 30. And buy some of this, even though it, it, even though it is expensive. But still, look at our money. We have over 1,000. Uh, wax is very expensive here. But the water is the dirt cheap here. So I'm actually going to get about there. Because we can still find water in the forest and all that. And we don't want that to go to waste. Uh, would you like me to save your progress? Yes, that would be very nice. We don't need to redo the whole shit again. Quick sand field. See you later. Thanks. We get more water. Wait a second, um, I didn't say anything, it was like nature to me, but yeah, it's secret passage kind of. Because you, you know, you come from, uh, you see, you come from here, you go up, you just follow it, you don't care so much, and you, you know, pass through here. But, yeah, I guess you can see that you can go here. It's a little tiny bit of a secret, but not so much. But this guy, if you select a dog and talk to him, Hello, boy! <laughs> I mean... You look like you've been good at finding hidden ingredients. Yep. So we can talk to people with the dog and we get something else. Let's get back to the village and cut some fucking... Veget... I don't know. Grass. Look at that sexy combo. Put it on music. <laughs> and I like how they did this, that... Um, you know, we beat the big bug, and we're making our way back here, but in a different way. 
on the next floor. So I think that's uh, a very nice way they did it. And it's much faster and convenient and all that. So let's get some of these skeletons up here. I want three of them. Get over here, boys. I want them to be on the screen like that. Then we can cast uh, the acid rain, but nope. Boop. Doesn't do much damage when it splits. But we, we, we soften them a bit so we can kill them in one shot like this. Because neither me and the dog it kills them in one hit. Because they have 30 health. So casting a horror ball on three of them will soften them up. So we can... <laughs> the dog is stood there. Uh, still, I want to keep the dog... Um, I want to, the dog to be the one to do the finishing blows. So he gets his level 2 attack. So now we can finally go through here. Kill these wimpy flowers. The dog will do that for us very easily. Is that a pill? No, a seven talents. Come on, doggy. Do it for me. Nice. This one as well. And we can get something here, I think. No? There it is, some water. Now, when it says some water, it's actually just one water. This is some uh, weird place with some kind of fire fireplace. It's just some items here. But this is just a dead end right now. There is nothing here. But we will see it again. There is something that happens here. But not now. Oh shit, we got attacked by both of them. And again. I must suck so much. Now, I would like to ask you... How are you doing, man? You, who are watching this, or maybe girl. <laughs> yeah, fat chance crimps. Like a girl would watch this. I mean, why am I being so sexist? It doesn't matter, matter if it's a girl or a boy. Never mind. Come on, eh. When, let's go and talk to Fire Eyes. Alright, let's do it. Help us back to Pudonk now, Laura. I mean, Elizabeth. I hear you were victorious in the far reaches of the bug mug. Well, it was a bug hunt. Uh, but we got out of it okay. And we got this nifty claw, too. It's like an axe. Well, um, that's um, great. I don't give any shits. Strongheart has returned to his hut south of the village. <laughs> Her voice changes all the time. And now there is a village. F now the village faces a new crisis. The volcano to the north is rapidly cooling down. If this trend continues, we could have an ice age on our hands. I'd like to help you, but I've really got to start looking for a way back home. Your best bet may be to track down the source of this atmospheric icing. You see, I'm originally from Pudong too. What? My grandpa is an inventor who lived in the mansion on the hill. He made a machine that could send people to worlds of their own design. Since I enjoy all things prehistoric, I dreamed up this world of cave people and dinosaurs. I... I was supposed to be here for a couple of hours, but it uh, has been a couple of decades. How old are you? And now and again, I sense the evidence of outside influences on our world. This recent drop in temperature could be the work of someone from the real world. And that person has control over the vicious volcano vipers. If you go to the source at the center of the volcano, you might find someone or something that could lead you back home. I'm just lying to make you do the stuff for me. And you might just save our village at the same time. Wow, this is uh, like what happened in The Pale People of Planet 5, or V. It's about a bunch of astronauts who get stuck on an exact replica of Earth. Only it's populated by zombie vampires and... Well, actually, this isn't like that at all. <laughs> wow, man. If you're finished with your little... Uh, anecdote? Anecdote? I don't know. I can give you the ability to call on me in difficult situations. We got six call beeps. What the fuck is going on? 
If you need my help, especially in big battles, you can throw a call beetle to the ground. I'll appear in a flash, then you'll be able to summon one of my spells. Liar, that's a lie. No offense, but how can a girl help a couple of adventurers like us? I've learned a few tricks since I've been here. Let me show you why they call me Fire Eyes. And I head out first. <laughs> All right. Step back. Oh. Call me if you need me. Oh, MLG. Get the ash. Who does she think she is? Dog, get in there and smack him. Don't, don't go in there. All right, everybody, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, in the next episode and session, we're gonna head up um, towards the volcano and see what the fuck is going on. And we'll also talk to the villagers and Strongheart because he has something to give us. So with that, have a great day, and I will see you later on. Please leave a comment if you want to. It would mean the world to me. See ya.